Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hurst. Christina's back and today we're back. We're, we're back, we're back. So today with our little happy, we're gonna actually work with some sunflowers, some dahlias. Aren't these beautiful? Oh, they're so pretty. Mm. Oh man, I done dropped one. Already dropped and it's only Monday <laughs> and we've been it's on, on two Monday. minutes, two seconds. Two seconds. Some cottage yarrow, which comes in that beautiful uh, maroon color. Some trick dianthus. As I call it, green trick. Some day lilies or enchantment lilies. A little bit of lily grass. A little bit of gold wire. A little bit of olive. And a whole lot of leftover sticks. You know, I'm the world's worst about not throwing anything away. This is actually uh, blooming cherry branches that we had left over. You can see the blooms that didn't open up right there. We're going to take those off. And what I thought we would do today is, and people always ask, do you tape the container? I never tape the container, but I'm going to show you an easy way, a little bit more contemporary way to make an armature or a grid across this one using these branches. But did you talk about the vase? Did you oh, not on? yet, because uh, I okay, forgot. Don't you, forget. Because you are all about Simon Pierce. This is from Simon Pierce. This is their, called their Heart, Heartland Bowl. And this is actually hand blown. No two bowls are the same. And it comes out of Vermont. And Christina has a really bad, 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 pro she has to go to a medium, pretty <laughs> sure, because she loves, they're the ones that do the Christmas trees, the clear trees. And I'm obsessed. Ab obs absolutely obsessed. So what I want to do first is I'm going to take a little bit of gold wire, and I'm just going to put it on the ends of this. So why do you do that? We have lots of people, so I'm going to give some shout outs. Oh, good, good, so good. Miss Kathy from Tulsa, Miss Kim, Miss Laurel Lee. Oh. Miss Peggy, Miss Alice, of oh, course. Oh, Miss Alice. Gary, Miss Susan, Miss Rhonda from South Carolina. Perfect. So Miss Mona I'm... said hi from Rainy Monday, oh, and it is nasty. Do not let me forget. We have to do it right now. Let's do it. We get about the birthday. Happy yes, birthday. Yes, don't forget. To Miss Sharon McGinnis. Is that right? McGinnis? Is. McGinnis. Okay, Miss Sharon, I have to tell you, your husband is an absolute, he's making it bad on all the rest of the husbands in the world. He actually direct messaged us the other day, last Friday, and wanted me to say that you are the love of his life, you are bringing sunshine to everyone's world, and that he could not live without you. So I screwed up. Well, I totally forgot. It's my problem. I was, I was kind of off Saturday. I don't know what happened. I was well. Christine wasn't here, so we were kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of lost without a ship. And I apologize. I don't know what you know what happened was I had that wedding and believe it or not, I still get anxious and nervous about doing wedding setups when I don't know exactly what we're doing because we were kind of on the fly on that one. And I was just really in my head about can we do this? We're gonna get that done. We had enough time to get there because we were kind of scrambling to get out there in time before the pictures started from the happy. So anyway, long story short, wedding went great. But so, happy birthday happy late birthday. Happy Ms. late birthday to Sa 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 Sharon, right? It wasn't Sharon's birthday. It was actually his birthday. Oh. And he wanted me to tell her. Oh, I see. Yeah. See, mm. he's, she's got a go. keeper because it definitely makes it hard on the rest of us I husbands. Know. I mean, golly. You didn't win husband of the year, Mr. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So we miss Melissa from Utah, Miss Tina from New Mexico. Lots of people saying, ooh, those sunflowers. Lots of people from Alabama, Massachusetts. Great. Miss Kim said hi. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking more pieces of wire, and I'm just going to hold these together once I do one. So I'm very jealous of Miss Barbara. She said she's been to Simon Pierce in Vermont. Oh my goodness! Oh. Well, you were supposed to go there. I was supposed to go yeah, in August, guess, but, but I don't know if that's not happening gonna, anymore. No, not happen. No. You so and Miss Grace were going to make a trip. Of we it. were. So we have friends from New York, New Mexico, Alabama, awesome. Texas, Miss Peggy, Idaho, North Carolina, Wisconsin, Michigan, Austin, Kentucky. Woo, they're all over today. All over, all over. Yeah, we had several questions we missed on Saturday too. The greats were real. People will ask about that. Um, as far as that goes, <laughs> and I had one person say, give up on the grapes. You've had done those all for like three days. So anyway, we're not, we're not doing any grapes yeah, we today. we gave up on them. We're not we're doing not, them. We're not doing any grapes today. Someone asked what kind of wire that is. This is decorative. Um, it's just a florist decorative wire. You can get it from um, various places, I believe. Uh, Design Master, I mean, Smithers Oasis makes it. 
Um, a lot of your ribbon companies make it. I think you can even get it from Accent Decor at one point. Ms. Shirley said you make sticks look amazing. Well, we have someone well, well, from Poland wait. on today. Oh, fun. And Pakistan. Great. So I'm just going back and doing a couple catches here and there. And this would basically would make you a grid, once we finish, to insert your flowers into. And I'll go back and clean these up when I finish. So tell them about your trip. I had a good trip. My one of my dearest friends, I was maid of honor in her wedding this past weekend in Memphis. And so it was very nice to, you know, see a lot of my old college friends. But I'm happy to be back with y'all. Well, Even yeah. though I wasn't here, I tuned in and watched both days. So <laughs> Mimi was like putting on her wedding dress, for getting ready for her first look. And I have Mr. Chris yeah, and all of y'all on my phone and I'm just watching. Uh, so. well. Miss Nina said that she missed me. And so yeah, I'm glad that yeah, I'm back. Yeah, we're glad you're back too. We had a lot of customers call this morning and order those heads from Saturday. And so I got to talk with all yeah, of them. Yeah, excellent. Oh, see, look at that. Miss Craig, who called today, she said, I think Christina's my new best friend. Well, there you go. She has a gift going coming her way soon. I think she should get it in the next two days. Well, so. we hope so. So Miss Leslie said it's 5.30 a.m. in Australia and she oh loves watching good. your happies. Oh my goodness. That's some dedication. That's some dedication. That's a lot of coffee early in the morning. So, so this comes this way. That's a whole spool there. Miss <laughs> Joy said very interesting wood pile. Love exact, the design. Exactly. Who knew what Simon Pierce and wood would go together? Exactly. Well, that's kind of a big deal right now doing all these different textures of of a you know different values of texture from glass to natural wood to wire to metal and uh, whatever anyway but i thought we could take this and kind of dress this wood up by adding just a little bit of gold wire on the ends so it'll show up i'm not putting it where it's not going to show up i'm not putting it in the middle because it won't show up that way so someone's asked someone asked how are you doing this very curious how you're doing this well i'm just taking pieces like this and the great thing about this wire it's very it's holds you don't have to like twist it to make it stay on there it's almost the consistency but a lot softer than a um, clothes hanger as far as the width of it and I just wrap it around that. So and someone asked, just, how are you going to attach that to the dish? Well, you're just going to lay this on the dish. Okay. It's just a grid. So that's the only reason why we're doing that. And so someone asked, what is the purpose of the wire on the end of the sticks? Just add a little shenaz to it. Shenaz? Is shenaz, that a, new word. What a new great word. word. Shenaz, shenaz, a little shenaz. So Miss Glenda asked, how much is one head including shipping to Alabama? And I'm not sure about that, but the I went to the, I shipped a few out today and one went to Houston, Texas and it was $18 to ship and then the head is $28. So. Yeah. And they actually got a great deal on those heads because I looked at the <laughs> price wrong. <laughs> yeah, so you got a deal on the heads. You got the head. The deal. The heads should have been like thirty-eight dollars, but we're going to say we were giving you a special today when we did those. So anyway, Miss Taylor said that her mom, she and her mom, love to watch us. They have so much fun talking about. Um, well, what in the so world is he talking. doing now? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. What in the world is he doing now? But I know uh, I'll like it because of the Simon Pierce. So. Uh, I know. We got a we got a winner here no matter what. Miss Melissa said that Tipton Hurst did her wedding flowers in nineteen seventy four and they were beautiful. Well awesome. So let me pick this up. It actually could be made without being on the bowl. We're just gonna lay that there. Okay. So now we're gonna go back and add just a few pieces in this way. Da da da. Those sunflowers are going to look really good with that gold wire. Well, that'd be kind of cool. And I'm not going to make them tall. I'm going to make them more flat. Miss Ann says she's watching today's Happy from West Little Rock. Oh, cool. You know, talking about husbands, she has a pretty good one hit, too. She dropped a hint about wanting some peonies. I know. And he, and he, and and he, he bit, came and right he, on in and, and he got bit. It. That's right. So. <laughs> Miss Michelle said, Shanaz. Is that a southern word for pizzazz? pizzazz. Yeah, a little pizzazz. That's the shanaz. So there, anyway, we go. there you go. So let's go back first and take our sunflowers. And we're just going to put these in deep like that. Miss Pam asked if they can order the wire. They can definitely order the wire. We have it in all colors, too. I think, didn't we use blue one time? We did use blue one time. We did. 
We did, we did. I'm going to pick this one up on the floor. <laughs> oh, so. goodness. Always something on the floor. <laughs> well, the days I don't, the, probably the days I should have. Anyway, so let's that there. So there's that. There's the first layer. And people are going like, what in the world? What in the world? And now we're going to go back and add our little bit of trick or our green dianthus balls. Right. <laughs> Miss Ann said, yes, he is a good one. Yeah. Might need to try to use my persuasive suggestions again. Uh, there you go. And just a little bit of color in here. So this is going to almost look like this is uh, like moss in the bowl, more or less. Right? Hopefully. That's what we're going for. That, that's, that's our story. We're sticking to <laughs> it today. Sticking to it. That's what we're sticking to today, for sure. You have lots of people saying this is going to be beautiful. They love it already. Good. Looks so cool. So there's that. Very um, garden clubbish, which I'm all about a garden club. So, so let's use these dahlias. These are so pretty. And they come from California. Do you know the name of these? Yellow. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you probably didn't because we didn't rehearse the name before. <laughs> Normally I, I have to tell the name I said not because I, I butcher names so bad. This is blah, 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 and then, then she reminds me when I say it wrong. But today, these are yellow dahlias that are from California. Miss Patty is watching from Benton, and she said there's a tornado watch. Oh, no. Well, let me tell you, I got drenched coming in from lunch. Thankfully, I came in right before the rain hit. I'm going to lower that one down just a hair. Just a little, just a little. The cool thing about this armature, though, it takes so much fewer flowers to make it stay in place because your sticks are going to be the what holds, takes up a lot of the volume. What I don't want to do is I don't want to cover this up. So I'm going to insert, I'm going to take that one out. That one's not been our friend. Yeah, they're not our friend at all. Miss Sue said, I think that I finally got to see you live. Well, good. We have a few people saying it looks rustic in, in the farmhouse feel. They really like it. It, it. A little bit European in the fact that it has the, all the armature done with the sticks. They love to make armatures in Europe. So Miss Barbara said, I was afraid you were making a mess, but per uh, usual, it, it's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. well, we're not finished yet. So we, we could still get on the messy train here in a little bit. But anyway, this is cottage yarrow that we've had before, but never in this color. And the reason why I pulled this is because if you look at the real center of this dahlia, it has just a hint of that color to it. And so, Miss Metter said that Mr. Chris's wife has been mentioned in the past. We should give her some suggestions occasionally. Maybe they should meet her. She must be a very gracious lady. She is a very gracious lady. That's what she tells me all the time. So. <laughs> there you go. There so, someone go. asked, what are the green ball things? The green balls are green tricalium. You know, she kind of keeps on top of me as far as, res she goes, did you not respond to so-and-so? Because someone will ask a question and sometimes I miss them. So she kind of keeps me in line on that, especially if Christina's not here. So I'm so going to add just a few of these enchantment lilies. Lots of people are loving these colors and say this arrangement is beautiful. Miss oh, Carolyn good. said she loves that it looks so natural. Well, awesome. So we always want to put our lilies in pretty close to the last. Let me go ahead and add greenery first. What kind of greenery is that? This is olive. I actually really like olive and bouquets and stuff. I do too. And the reason why I chose that because it's a little bit more lanky and less bulky because we don't want to take away from the texture. If you look inside here, you may be able to see all these cool sticks and stuff that are bound here and there. So. I'm not sure that I've ever seen that Yarrow stuff either. You probably haven't because it, it comes in those colors, but generally we don't keep it in inventory. It's kind of hit or miss. You know, we order that Yarrow, a lot of times they'll do mixed boxes of it. Mm. And so you really just never know what you're going to get. Sometimes, I don't like the way that, I want to turn that one more. Mr. Mark said that you should call this arrangement the natural state. The nat, hey, Arkansas. Faux show. That's us. That's us. We all natural. So Miss Doe said, do you ever write up a list of all of the flowers you use in an arrangement? 
Um, I haven't, but I guess we could. Is she asking, do we afterwards or do we do it or pre-plan it? Well, I I'm can, not sure. I can tell you, nothing's pre-planned here. It's literally, right literally on the fly when I'm walking down the down the steps. Isn't that terrible? That's so bad. Miss Helen so asked bad. if Miss Renee or if Chris's wife is a flower designer. No, my wife. <laughs> my wife owns a mortgage company. She's a mortgage banker, so she bought. But she's been in the business for 36 years because she's been married to me. So on all holidays, she always tells everyone we never have holiday. We never have holidays because I'm in the business. So Miss Betsy, our asked, kids grew up not having holidays. Put that way. <laughs> Miss Betsy asked, "Why did you call this the Garden Clubish?" Um, because of the armature and the, a lot of garden clubs like to make their own containers, more or less, or have things that you can't really use foam like you I mean they always want to do things more natural so that's where we get that from so I'm gonna add a little bit of grass here in the middle with the lilies miss Susan said I love the armature aka sticks right together sticks, yeah sticks right mixed together. with grass and flowers yeah, she exactly. loves it sticks we have right absolutely together. stunning Someone asked, what do you do with the arrangements once you finish the video? Um, a lot of times people will actually come in and buy them or call ahead to order them. If not, we will leave them in the cooler for like a day or so, just in case someone has a question about it or something. And then if not, then a lot of times, just like on Saturday, I repurpose a lot of the arrangements that are already been done all week. If they haven't sold or I hadn't needed to, you know, repurpose them then I'll take them apart and try to make something totally different out of them. So that's what we did Saturday with most of our stuff. So Miss Melissa said that she loves this. So it would be great for a tablescape, possibly with pine cones and moss going down the table. Yep, yeah, for sure. So I'm gonna add, uh, I'm about to spin off here. That'd have been a bad trick. That would have been really bad. You would have been so sad. Mm, I would have, that vase is. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm just so glad we remembered it say happy belated birthday. I know. That so Ms. bothered Dosa. me so bad. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, that was your note up in the bride's room. It said, yeah. don't forget yeah, don't happy forget. birthday. <laughs> well, I did that today. I did okay. that this after this okay. morning. So anyway, so this almost has a, a kind of a Hogarth curve to it when you look at the end of it, the end product, because it kind of goes up and then except for that one flower there is not. So let me lower it a little. So there we have it. You, everyone's loving it. Oh, good. A little different. Let me add a little bit more gold here. So we got a little bit of time. So Guy said, if you work six days a week, do you ever get a day off during the week? No. 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 That's not for us. Not, not, our, not, our, not our thing. Not our thing, especially when we've got a lot of events and stuff going on or when the holiday comes. We are seven days a week almost, aren't we, Christina? We are. Next week will be seven days. Uh, uh, yay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Miss Nancy asked, is that bear grass? It's the lily grass. Lily grass. Lily grass is a little bit thicker than bear grass. As you can tell, the, the thickness of it is like maybe three times thicker. So I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to pull that one. And oops, I'm going to pull it over to here. A little bit of revamping. This thing spins on me all the time. So. Well, anyway. everyone's saying that it's fabulous and beautiful and. Well, good. They love it. Well, hopefully we've answered all your questions today. We haven't missed anybody. I apologize again. I wasn't on my game. I kept hoping we would get to all those. So Miss Kelly did ask, wow, that's amazing. Would I be able to buy those flowers in the UK? Uh, you be yeah, you really should be able to. It's 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 pretty simple flowers. It's dahlias, sunflowers, cottage yarrow, a little bit of olive, but the main three flowers are really just enchantment lilies or or day lilies as they were called or what I call enchantment lilies, sunflowers and a couple dahlias and a little bit of yarrow. So it's really pretty simple. So anyway, that's our happy today. I hope y'all have enjoyed it and thank y'all so much for being here today. Hopefully we won't get blown away after the tornado since we got tornado. I know. <laughs> <Tornado> Yikes. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you tomorrow and thanks for joining us and y'all have a blessed night and we'll see you later. Bye.